uh, apart from the first half uh, in the home game, we were much the better team. Uh, and, and, and I think got a disappointed uh, change room in there. But every single one of them should be proud of themselves. Every single member of my staff should be proud of themselves because we've just come to a team who haven't been beaten seven or eight months and played them off the park. Uh, that's that's not a that's not me being any you know critical of chart and we did um, and we've taken them all the way. Um, the chances we've had tonight, some glorious chances. Um, but you know, firstly, congratulations to Charlton as well. You know, they've they've, they've done it. Um, the fans backed them tonight, but I couldn't be more proud of my players. The police seemed to come on before the penalties were about to be taken. Did they give you instructions that the kicks had to be taken at one end or something? Like that? Did that yeah. to do with your preparation? What, what, tell us what really, happened. no. I mean, it doesn't matter where you take a penalty. I don't think um, what end. Um, was what it was. I think it was a, a safety reason that had to had to take the penalties that end. And your you, you captain seemed a bit disappointed, though. Well, it's. I mean, it's. It is what it is. Captain didn't take a penalty. Well, he did the last one. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, I think. I think it was made. Uh, we didn't know about this, but it was probably decided at the start of the game um, where the penalties were going to be taken because of the fans uh, in, in the other end. Grant, it's a, a huge performance. By your side, though, the, the odds were all stacked against you at the, the start of the game. You must be delighted with how they've performed tonight overall. They were outstanding. They were outstanding, and you know, before the game, and before the before the game, before the first game, actually, we had absolutely no chance. I had no chance. You know, we get Chris Powell to do the Sky Sports tonight. They're so confident that we're going to win, and they have. But we were outstanding. We really were, and um, no one gives a chance. But we come in and we, we, we were, to a man, first class. Particularly after how the game started, two minutes in, they score and you, you think you've got a mountain to climb at that point. Yeah, but this group can respond uh, and, and they'll do it again next year. They'll respond again. Um, but yeah, mountain to climb, responded and then just showed pure composure and calmness um, to, to pass and, and probe and create chances. How heartbreaking was it really to have one foot Inside Wembley, when John Marcus puts you ahead to have it so cruelly, th you know, brought away so quickly. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, listen, I'm not here. I'm not going to be critical of anybody tonight. Um, we've got this far. We've pushed a very good Charlton team all the way, um, and they know that they've been in the game tonight. They really do. Could you have done any more as a team, as a squad today? No, no. That was, we've given everything, um, and you know. People who have watched us this season have seen that performance a lot. You know, they've seen that performance a lot. Um, so, really proud. Can okay. you keep the squad together throughout next season, do you feel? I haven't even thought about that. I haven't even thought about that. Um, the, the, the squad will be stronger, let me tell you that. You know, the players that we're coming in to this group will be, will, this group will be stronger next year. Can we just uh, confirm one thing? Did, did they tell you before the game that the penalties would be? No. It no, was, straight just before the shootout. Just before the shootout. Something to do with safety issues. Did it take you by surprise? Or? Yeah, a little bit, yeah, but I wasn't going to... You can't argue with it. They made the call. Thank you. I'm glad you wanted them to play without fear tonight. They did. They did. And like I say, Liam, you've seen this a lot this season. You come to every game and they've done it in abundance this year. Um, when we haven't performed to where we can be, we can get beat. Like we've shown, that's probably the consistency levels and the reason why we want to put pushing up there with the Charlings and the Sundermans and the Portsmouths and the Lutons and the Barneses, because we weren't consistent enough at it. Um, but this has given us a taster for next season. Well, we'll be stronger. We'll be stronger. We're, we're, we're quite down the line with a few signs and, and uh, this group will be stronger. Some people probably wrote you off going into the second leg and it was like a foregone conclusion given how strong Charlton were. And how much motivation did that probably give the team to just be the team to really just put one over Charlton and get into one? I've got a squad who believe in themselves and believe in their own ability and, and they're together. Um, and, and, and they believe they could do it tonight. And I could sense it. You know, we come up yesterday and I could sense the whole group, the atmosphere, uh, a real sense of calmness about the group, but a real self-belief that we could do it and we come here and win uh, and we've done that but unfortunately you know penalties is a bit of a lottery uh, and our two of our main men really Tommy Rowe and John Marcus credit to them for stepping up and taking the pens 
Um, you know, so they're, they'll feel a bit down in there, but the boys have the boys have picked them up. You're really unsettled, Sean, especially in the first half. You're giving them something to deal with. Um, how much did you prepare for that in terms of making sure that Sean was going to play, or was it down to the players just being super? We were te we were tactically um, very good right from the second game, the second uh, half of the first game. Um, you know, they, they obviously played a diamond, started in the diamond tonight. Um, we knew they were going to do that. I had a feeling he was going to do that. Um, we kept playing outside them, we kept switching the play. We kept making them run and moving. Uh, and every time we went forward, we looked threatening. Uh, so I was pleased with them. What have you achieved this season? Good players will want to join you, aren't you? The way you play football and approach it this season. Yeah, I mean, we, that's, that's the way we've approached this year and, uh, you know, to try and play on the front foot and be brave and be fearless. Um, and if, it, if they play through you, uh, then I'll take the responsibility. Uh, and the players that we've recruited this year have helped us to play on the front foot, the Keynes, the Crawfords, Wilkes, Sadlers, you know, those type of characters in terms of the midfield and forward areas. have helped us press and release and, and create things. <laughs> And the calmness of uh, Paul Downing, etc., coming in and adding to the group, um, it's just made us stronger. Uh, and again, we'll do that again next year. We'll add again. We'll make us stronger, um, so that we're we can have a go. You know, maybe at the top two um, instead of the top six. You stressed about being the underdogs in situations all season. Do you think people will take this lightly next year? Probably. Well, not really that bothered to be honest with you. Um, you know, there's, there's been a there's been a lot of talk about us this, this week. Um, a lot of people who probably haven't even seen us play uh, that have seen us tonight, um, and, and you know that's the reason why we're in top six. Uh, so, like I say, disappointed. So it's really hard to do these press conferences when when this is happening, but proud. What happens now is is that it? Are they off now? Or are they in? Next week, are you having the final word with all of them? Or? Yeah, they'll they'll all be in maybe Tuesday. Um, I'll have some individual meetings with them all uh, and my staff, you know, and a, a little bit of an appraisal, um, and then they can they'll get off and, and have their holidays. So it's uh, they've deserved it. they've deserved the break, you know. They need to go and rest for two three weeks, um, take the wives and the families away on holiday. Have you still got things to decide about players who are out of contract? Uh, yeah, yeah. There's, there's some things to be finalised, um, but. Over the next few days, the, the retained and released list will go out, um, i.e. the ones who we've offered contracts to, the ones we are going to release. So we'll see that in the next few days, and then we'll get working on the recruitment side of it. Uh, did you practice penalties at all with uh, the release of the side? They did it. They did it. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, listen, penalties is penalties. You, you can practice them and lose. You can, <laughs> and like you've seen tonight, you don't practice them and you can win. So. I've been in both scenarios. Um, I don't think that's any reason why John and Tommy missed. Um, you know, because on the training ground, it's easy. You, know, you haven't got 25,000 fans yelling at you. I said that during the week from one of our press conferences. When you step back and look from tonight, though, can you can you take a huge amount of pride in what you've done this season? I know it's not how you wanted it to end. I'm disappointed. I really am. <coughs> I'm disappointed that we didn't get there. Um, you know, I can be, I'm proud of the players, I'm disappointed with myself that I couldn't just get this over the line. Um, but I'll move on. Alright, thank you.